Well, it began as a look at the lives of the firefighters in a downtown district of New York City. What it became is one of the most remarkable documentaries ever made, providing an extraordinary new perspective on the events of September 11. The two-hour film, simply called 9-11, was shot by French brothers Jules and Gideon Naday. They were with a team of firefighters when the two planes with terrorists at the controls slammed into the World Trade Centre. What makes their film unique is that they were actually inside Tower 1 with the rescue teams when the other tower collapsed. It was 8.46 in the morning. That's when this stopped even resembling a normal day. was going to be the worst day of my life as a firefighter. My main concern was we had you know, 20 floors of people above. And we had to figure out a way to get them out. As it turned out, we had no usable elevators. With the elevators out, there was only one way to get up there. Walk. There are fire crews just screaming into this area from every conceivable direction. By this time, some of the top chiefs in the department had joined Chief Pfeiffer, running the command post, sending guys upstairs. were crowded. People were coming down burnt. Upstairs in Tower One, the guys from my firehouse were now 10 floors up and climbing. If we did talk, it was to the people coming down, trying to comfort them, tell them it's all right, get out, stay calm. All right, I want to use the lobby of seven as a triad. The chiefs didn't want anyone going through the lobby doors. First, it was because debris was falling outside. Then, it was people falling. It was just before 10 o'clock, a little over an hour since the first plane hit. Firefighters from all over the city were inside those towers, hundreds of them. You remember I'm filming Chief Pfeiffer, and he's on the radio. The South Tower was gone. Saw it collapse and ran. Inside the Trade Center, all Jules and Chief Pfeiffer knew, all anyone knew, was that something had gone terribly wrong. The right the World Trade Center, we took a hit on that last explosion. By this time, Chief Pfeiffer had found a safe exit. We walk north, just trying to figure out what took place here, and then try to gain some control. And then was it just a, a sense that this wasn't a good place to stay? Basically, 
everybody was standing right in the shadow of Tower One. It was 10.28 in the morning. And this huge roar. I don't even have time to think at that point. I just, I just run. Everyone's wanting to ask me what happened. What happened? I said, I said, hell, hell is what happened. Yeah, chilling stuff. And after seeing all that, it's hard to believe that every one of the firefighters from Engine 7, Ladder 1, came out of that day alive. More than 340 colleagues in other units were not so lucky, including the brother of Chief Joseph Pfeiffer. He died when the first tower collapsed. And when that documentary went to air a few hours ago on the CBS network in the United States, it was used to help raise funds for the firefighters' families.